Well, good day, you two people. Today is Good Friday, or some people call it Black Friday. Oh, it's the day that we recognize that Jesus was hung on the cross and died for our sins. Last night was a busy night for Jesus. He, uh, of course, we had the meal. We went to the garden to pray. He left the disciples and they, they, he went to pray more and they fell asleep. Uh, he goes along. And Peter, you gotta love Peter. Uh, Peter's nickname is The Rock. And that's an interesting nickname because when you really translate it out in Greek, it means, uh, I mean, Peter uh, means The Rock because all of them kind of had a nickname by Jesus. Uh, but Peter's just a rock because he's hard headed. He's a good hard worker to a point, uh, quick to act, sometimes too quick to act. And so with that in mind, uh, uh, he, he's kind of quick to act there. So with that in mind, uh, it gets him in trouble a little bit. Jesus tells him what's going to happen. Uh, Judas betrays him. So here they're in the garden to pray, and here comes uh, some of the, the religious leaders, and here comes the Roman soldiers with them. They're going to arrest Jesus. And as they're there, I just love this story. As they're there, Jesus is talking to them. Hey, it's I. It's I that you want. Let these people go. Peter whips out a knife, a sword, and cuts the guy's ear off. Just imagine that, that had to hurt. Jesus picks up the ear, puts it back on the side of the guy's head, and heals him. Tells Peter to put the sword away, and then conversation goes on. I'm telling you, you see a guy get his ear whacked off, somebody pick it up and stick it back on and it's healed? I'm not arresting that guy. I'm not going nowhere with that. Well, you know, I hate to say that because he's the Savior, but you know what I'm saying? Um, and so Jesus is arrested. He's tried at night, which is a very no-no in the Jewish culture because being tried at night, being tried at night, uh, no work was allowed to be done after sunset. That was just the Jewish culture. They, they had, went ahead to this trial at night, so it was a fake trial, if you will, but yet still served as thing in the morning, they delivered him to a pilot. Pilot finds nothing wrong with him. But he's pilot's pilot's a pleaser. Who the he's a pleaser. He's trying to please the Jews, he's trying to please the Roman soldiers. What he really don't want to happen is this to get back to Caesar and Caesar will remove him from his governorship because they probably remove him by killing him. Uh, become great power when you messed up, they killed you. They just didn't fire you and send you away in disgrace. They killed you. Uh, so he's going along, his wife warns him. Peter's beaten. I mean, Peter. Jesus is beaten. Peter denies him. And he dies on the cross. And he says, It's finished. I'm pretty sure at that moment in time, you know, people have, a lot of people that know they're dying have their last words, the very last words. If you've been around people that died, uh, they seem to know, a lot of them seem to know that exact moment. And they, uh, I don't know, it's just here. There we go. They seem to know that exact moment and they have some kind of words of wisdom at the very last or something that remember to buy. He, uh, Jesus says it's finished. Well, what's finished? The, the, what's finished is the bondage that the whole earth has been under since the sin of Adam and Eve. The bondage of separation between God and the people. It's finished. All that is done by the blood of Jesus. Paul tells us by the sin of one man, the whole world was cursed. By the sin, uh, by the, the, the righteousness of one man willing to die for our sins, the whole world was saved.
what was finished. This haunting of our past, our sins, have been forgiven. If you are willing to accept Christ as your Savior, ask Him into your heart. Ask for forgiveness of the past sins. Jesus is just to forgive you. He is. And that is the greatest story. It is finished. And so, at 9 o'clock, he was on there. He died at noon. But he dies at 3. Uh, excuse me. But he dies real early. And they take him down from the cross. They put him in Joseph's of tomb. And I made the wrong turn. Uh, they put him in the tomb. And off, they put him in the tomb. And at that moment in time, that moment in time, the whole world, the whole Jewish culture, those people believed in Jesus, thought it was over. They thought it was over. They heard what Jesus said. They just didn't pay attention. They thought it was over. But yet we know the rest of of the story. Okay. Hey, hey like that. Made that you turn. I made a wrong turn. And so what about you? Do you know the end of the story? Do you know? No, uh, Jesus is your Lord and Savior. Do you know Him? Have you asked for forgiveness for your sins? Because we are told if we ask for forgiveness for our sins, God is just to forgive them. The prize, not the prize, I would say, the present is there. So today, let us pray. Dear Lord, our Heavenly Father, somebody listening to this is on the fence. Let them here and now confess their sins. Let them here and now believe and confess you as their Lord and Savior to be risen, that they too may die to self and rise again. And Lord, we ask you all this in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.